Hello everyone. In this video, we will show you how to assemble all the parts of uh, this Omega 3D headset along with the software installation. You can see the headset here. First, we will build up the stand. For that, you will need the platform. These are the three parts of uh, Omega 3D stand provided in the box. You can see uh, the platform has uh, two different uh, edges. One is small, one is big. The big one goes to the lower part, and the small one goes on the smaller platform at the top side. This is the house stand. This is how the platform works. This is the wireless device. We'll also connect the mic, the noise cancellation mic. I have shown uh, the buttons before also, I will show you one, one, one more time. There is a power button here, there is a volume control button here. At the back side, there is a mute button for the mic. We will need this type of cable to connect the Wi-Fi device with the headset and Wi-Fi with the PC. We will connect it and uh, show you how it works. Use a longer cable for the Wi-Fi uh, device that connects with the headset so that you can move the headset to a longer place. You have to connect this uh, micro connector over the first port. Now this second cable which goes from the back side of wireless device to the PC, you can see. You can see a power light which is working on the Wi-Fi device. To pair this device with any other wireless media, you have to press this for 3 seconds. It will start turning on and off frequently and at the time you have to uh, start your Wi-Fi device to scan this wireless uh, device and connect it with uh, any smartphone or any mobile phone. You can also see uh, the power LED start goes uh, red in color. This shows that this headset is not having any battery, any charge in it. You have to connect it for 1 to 2 hours to get maximum charge so that it turns to blue completely. Now the headset is turned on. It is basically a kind of a plug and play device. When you connect it, the headset starts working automatically through your default audio driver. But adding uh, THX Studio software is one of the best options to get enhancement in your voice and in your headphone. We are going to test this on Windows 8. If you do not receive any CD with the headset, you can use the official website of Creative to download it. This is the official Creative website. You can see here Sound Blaster Tactic 3D Omega Wireless Device Information. You can find all related manuals and a demo to how to configure the product along with the latest driver and firmware update. You can see a pack for Windows, a different pack for Mac also and a web automated web updater. You have to download this software. It is a 93 MB, 93 MB software. You have to download it and install it in your PC. After installation, you can see an icon Sound Blaster Tactic 3D.
this is uh, Sound Blaster Tactic 3D software. It allows you a set of setting. Uh, the software starts with a volume control button here, along with the mic volume adjustment button. And there are some set of options available. You can test the sound quality through a small test available uh, in this software. We show you all effects here, for example, crystal, sound, bass, dialogue plus smart volume. You can just tick it and you can hear the setting, hear the sound quality from on this test uh, video. There is an equalizer option available along with a voice effect setting. When you enable this, you can just change your convert your voice in any format provided here, for example, a voice from male to female or female to male. You can Press the test button and you can che check each and every settings available here. This is the last option is an appearance button to change the color and to change any in uh, intensity or pulsation of the software. Let's test out uh, some audio on it. Now you can see a, a light voice coming out from the head. So this is the volume button. When you press it, you can see the volume icon appear here. You can use it to directly control the audio from the headphone itself. With the help of uh, that uh, TA, THX software, the headphone is capable of giving you a very awesome audio quality. And one more thing, uh, the cable which I have connected the uh, to the platform on Sound Blaster Wi-Fi device. It's just for charging this headphone. It is not required to play audio. You can just, once the headphone is fully charged, you can disconnect it and you can carry it anywhere in your home. I think it is having an optimum range to hear music or get a proper audio while playing games and chatting on with your friends. We'll show you a detailed review on this about more features about this headphone and what THX, uh, THX Studio software offer you. Uh, thank you. Uh, visit techarena.in.